everybody, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that has been requested a little bit lately. And if you saw my cat in the hat video, you probably know what I'm talking about. It is how to get a super tight tuck. Um, and if you didn't know, I'm male to female, transgender. Um, I was born biological male, which means I currently have biologically male parts. And when I go through my day-to-day -day life, I tend to not want to show that and not have people question or ask or point it out or anything like that. So um, I have learned over the years that the tighter the tuck, the less dysphoria I have, the less um, attention I get, because I, I technically pass, you know, for, what it, for whatever that's worth. Um, and in doing so, if I have things showing, people tend to like, what is she, what, what is that, you know? <laughs> so um, I've looked up just about every way between like duct tape and um, T-tape, uh, really tight underwear or gaffs or whatever you want to call them. And the one that works best for me and the one that is a natural fit, very easy on and off kind of thing, the problem to me with like duct tape and T-tape is that it only lasts so long and it usually leaves you feeling like sticky and you have to like get some adhesive remover or just take a really long hot bath and like really like, you know, get the stuff off your skin. It's such a waste of time and it's very irritating, especially if you go swimming or something like that comes undone and you're just out of luck. Uh, I'm, <laughs> very big into swimming and stuff like that. So during the summer, I do like to use tea tape, but it only lasts like two or three sticks. So if you're there for a while and you have to like take a few bathroom breaks, like more often than not, you're gonna have issues putting it back on. So um, for me, what works is these. Um, you can get these on Amazon. I think my boyfriend bought them for me for about $30, but they also depend if you get them the cheaper pair, they're the same quality. They probably just take longer to get here, but by the way, like prom shipping. So um, this is a gaff. It is stretchy around the, the hips, which is very useful. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, it's wider in the front. That means it covers, but it's almost a little like thongy in the back, uh, which some people like, some people don't. Uh, but for me, this works perfectly because it sits right up on my hips just like it should, and it's very, very, very snug. And to show you how tight I can get the tuck, I'm gonna be using the good old TikTok leggings. Everyone loves these, everyone knows these. Trans women tend to hate these because they tend to um, accentuate our bits. So uh, I will be debuting these lovely puppies for you. Um, and I also brought some demonstration material. This is going to be the, the dangly bits and these are going to be, these are actually my Power Ranger power coins. Um, so, you know, it's fitting because I'm basically the pink Power Ranger. Anyway, uh, these are going to be your, um, you know, your, your parts, the ones you want to hide. This is, this is your whole, your whole gig that you want to hide. So now what I do to get a tuck is I will pull these up as best I can. You don't want to preemptively tuck. You don't want to like tape anything. I don't anyway. Some people might want to, but I don't. Um, to get a very natural looking tuck, I tend to just pull my underwear up, specifically these. And what you do is once they're up and tight, you kind of reach in and you get your, your power coins, as they say. And I'm going to demonstrate the motion that I use. So you put your pointer fingers under them and there's two little sockets up here where they originally fell from, where they can return to if pushed. Um, so you take your power coins and my thumbs are gonna be the holes. So you slide them up into that and they sit there. They're, they kind of protrude a little on the front here, but they're up inside of you, right? So you push those up. And then you take your, your lipstick here and you throw it as far back as you can, uh, probably between your nether region, just throw it back there as best you can, and then shoo, like pull your underwear straight up to the sky. 
and <clears throat> if you did it correctly, everything should be real taut, real uh, on top of itself. <laughs> um, and you know, sometimes you get a little excess here. Um, my boyfriend says it kind of just looks like lips or something popping out. But if you kind of take your middle fingers and put, you know, push everything back in there, you don't want any like stragglers if you're wearing tight clothes. So the next thing I like to do is if I want it to look super, super, super good, super natural, um, when these are on, you also get a regular pair of underwear. It could be any kind. I prefer like the softer kind because you're already tucked with these. You're super tight with those. So then you just take a regular pair of underwear and you just like on top of that. So it looks natural and smooth, you know? So that is the, you know, idea of it. Now I'm going to show you it in practice um, as best I can. So if I, if I jump cut to fully clothed and, and tucked, I apologize, but that is the best I can do, so. Okay, so this is the gaff itself. It's very tight, um, but you don't worry about any kind of slipping during the day and nothing is popping out or, you know, any kind of way. So what I do now is I take a natural pair of underwear and I pull these over that. See, gone, she's gone. And then, you know, if you want to wear tight leggings on top of that, you can, and nobody's going to ask questions. Nobody's going to look at you funny. Nobody's going to say anything funny. They're just going to be like, dang, that girl has a cute butt in those really tight leggings. Because, because she do though. But, as you can see, she is flat, flat. And sometimes you may have to like, once you get these on, you have to like reach in there and kind of, you know, adjust a little bit, but more often than not, they're just, they're just good to go. So, um, there you have it. That's how I tuck. That's how I get a very natural, nice tight tuck. Um, and I have free range of motion. So like I'm not hurting or like popping anything when I'm moving. Um, so if you haven't invested in one of those gaffs, you can find them on Amazon. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, if you're going swimming, I definitely recommend like um, T-Tape or I forget the brand that I use, but it's like this pink, um, I'll link it below <laughs> if I can find it. Um, but anyway, this was a fun and informative video and I try to be as thorough as possible to show you guys. But um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, if you found this useful or liked it, feel free to like subscribe. I always get that backwards. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.